Hey folks, this is Shock, and tonight is the night. First of all, tonight is the night. We are having a giant meeting. Look right below this video, 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. And uh, that's 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. So if you're on the East Coast, that's 10 o'clock p.m. And we're having a giant meeting. I'm going to play you a shocking debate that was recorded live in front of tons of people where Hitchens, atheist Christopher Hitchens, loses horribly, horribly, miserably in a debate. In one part of the debate, it got so bad because he doesn't know the answers to some of the things or how to answer it, he does this stall tactic where he pretends that his microphone, there's something wrong with it, and it's just, he's done that a few times in debates, it's so sad. Uh, it's pathetic how atheism uses these uh, evasive tactics to stall for time. But no, folks, tonight at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific time, we're all going to be there now. My room only holds 50 folks. So make sure you get there. 50 people. Right here below, shockanow.net. And I have to tell you, Last night, I go into the chat room, right? Oh, wait, before I tell you that. So, I hope you can be there. This is going to be really good because then afterwards, we have like an open discussion on it. And you haven't seen excitement till you've seen a bunch of Christians in a room and also atheists in a room, pagans, Wiccans, and everyone with different opinions on their worldview and what truth really is veritas okay hold on i don't want to hit this guy he's walking across the street now last night we won debate number 48 yes Woohoo! <laughs> look at the guys turning around <laughs> Woohoo! debate number 48 okay um <laughs> i knew he's gonna do that Debate number 48, yes, folks! I'm going to get to 50, and then I'm going to take a vacation for a while. Because you know why? It's the same lame excuses these atheists have in debate. Let me get a throttle. Lots of throttle. Beautiful day in Southern California. Very hot. Very hot in Southern California. Let's give it some more throttle over here. Let's show you some good stuff here on video. You know, there's nothing that says freedom more than a Christian riding a motorcycle in California in the United States. Think about it. Okay, so that's 48 debates in a row. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, what happened last night. The guy comes in the room. I want to make this a quick video. I, I don't really want to go a long time. So the guy comes in the room and just to make it easy on him, I only went through three arguments. That's all he had to really talk about. And the debate was, look, are there reasons to believe that God exists? And are there reasons to believe that God does not exist? I came up with three reasons in my opening argument. He came up with zero reasons why God does not exist. In fact, I'm not making this up under cross-examination. By the way, I've been working on my William F. Buckley imitation. Would you guys like to hear it? In today's debate, we have the shock of God who will be defending the Christian theist position. On the side of Satan, we will have the atheist who will be defending Satan's position. So, sounds better when I'm not going real fast on the freeway in the helmet. Anyways, guys, he lost the debate. It was horrible. It was um, an obvious loss right from the start. Uh, what else could I say about it? He brought up Noah's Ark. Look, if you want to debate me about Noah's Ark, there's very good evidence that not only was Noah's Ark plausible, but that it makes total sense. You know, Noah didn't have to bring fish and whales uh, into the ark. I could actually prove to you guys that Noah's Ark is plausible and makes sense even mathematically. 
Noah's Ark wasn't like a little boat like the size of this semi there. The, the thing was huge with even different stories to it. It took them years and years and years to uh, to build. Anyways, don't forget guys, 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific time tonight. I'll see you there um, right here, shockonow.net. Now, if that site's busy, because sometimes we get tons of hits, go to the site directly under it, and that'll bring you into the chat room also, we hope, unless it's, so, unless it's packed with 50 people, then you won't be able to get in. 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. It's going to be awesome. Now, this guy last night brought up Leprechaun. He said, well, maybe there's leprechauns on Jupiter or something Jupiter, I think it was. Well, that's fine if he wants to believe there's leprechauns on Jupiter. Give us some arguments why he believes leprechauns are Jupiter. Look, everyone in the room was laughing at the guy. <clears throat> and sometimes I feel more sorry for the <laughs> the guy and I'm, the, I'm his, his opponent debating him. So anyways, guys, number 48. Clearly, that one was a knockdown win. Uh, he did not give us any reasons at all. I even said, just give us one. Give us one reason to believe that God does not exist. He could not do it. In fact, under cross-examination, this is what I was going to tell you, he admitted that God could exist. He admitted it. So it's pretty hard to say that God can exist, but you're trying to argue that he doesn't exist when you're saying that God can exist. It's like trying to drive this motorcycle backwards and forward at the same time. That doesn't make sense. God bless you guys. See you tonight, 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. In the meantime, why don't you guys go get yourself some free stuff at my website? It's all free. Go to shockandl.net, click free stuff at the top of the page. I've got some of the best software games free antivirus pro programs, free anti-adware, spyware program around that you can go ahead and download for free. You ain't ever got to pay for them. See you tonight. 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. Be there. Should be awesome, guys. And this is officially debate number 48 that atheists have lost and Christian theists have won.